2021's Free Guy has done wonders for the movie industry in so many different ways. It was part of the wave of films that actually made a profit in theaters, as most films up to that point were bombed due to the pandemic. However, it didn't become so successful without some crucial development changes and Ryan Reynolds' helping hand with the screenplay. And as the movie was passed from 20th Century to Disney, in Disney's acquisition of the studio, it was a blessing in disguise. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will show you the behind-the-scenes secrets from the free guy. Ryan Reynolds enters the world of video games as the charming human hold NPC guy who exists inside the video game Free City in Free Guy. There's a lot to find interesting here, from the slick CGI to the inventive ideas and thrilling appearances. So, it's time to reveal the secrets behind how Free Guy was made. Starting off, number 1. Disney apparently wants a sequel. Free Guy has made over $300 million at the worldwide box office so far, and given the current circumstances with the pandemic, that's a huge success for an original IP movie. With Free Guy being such a smash hit at the box office, it's no surprise that Disney wants a sequel. Though Disney hasn't yet announced that it wants to develop a sequel, it has been hinted at by Ryan Reynolds. Again, using Twitter as a platform to send a message to his fans, Reynolds confirmed Disney wants a follow-up. But wait, before we proceed, make sure to smash the subscribe button, click the notification bell right now for you cannot miss out the remaining behind-the-scenes secrets from the free guy. Keep watching! Next up, number 2. One of the films to continue being produced by Disney. Free Guy has been delayed until 2021, but even despite all the COVID-19 related delays, the movie was still halted by Disney's acquisition of the 20th Century Fox. It was one of the first movies that continued development from one studio to the other, and in fairness, it may not have been as good if Disney didn't acquire the studio. Part of the magic of Free Guy is all of the reference to other properties owned by Disney, such as all the Marvel Easter eggs and the lightsaber in classic Star Wars core. That would never have happened if it was still a part of 20th Century Fox, as the studio doesn't have the right to those properties. Number 3. Director Sean Levy originally turned the script down. Sean Levy is known for his audience-pleasing family movies. His films generally see protagonists in surreal situations, and that's most notable in the Night at the Museum series, which Levy spearheaded. That's why it comes as a surprise that he initially turned down the offer to direct Free Guy. The 2021 movie is full of jokes that both parents and children can understand, and it takes place in a fantasy world, which is right up Lavi's alley. But according to The Hollywood Reporter, Lavi read the script five years ago and passed on it because he isn't a gaming aficionado. However, it was again Reynolds using his charisma to convince Lavi otherwise. Number 4. Taika Waititi's cameos could be his own movie. Ever since directing Thor Ragnarok, Taika Waititi has become one of the most in-demand directors working today. However, not only are studios ragging on his arms to direct blockbusters movies, but they want his acting skills too. Waititi has amazing comedy timing and improv skills, which can be seen in his vampire mockumentary What We Do With The Shadows and the World War II satire Jojo Rabbit, and Sean Levy used that to his advantage. According to a tweet from Reynolds, he mentioned that there were so many unused ad-libs from Waititi that it could be its own movie. But what's more is that Reynolds hinted that there just might be one on the way. Number 5. Dude by Reynolds While the dude is already an iconic character in the cult classic Coen Brothers movie The Big Lebowski, now there's another soon-to-be classic character with the name. According to the same interview in The Hollywood Reporter, Reynolds made another big chance, which was the addition of Dude, a powerful leveled-up character also played by Reynolds. It'd be fascinating to find out what the seeming placeholder was before Dude was created, as the character is a pivotal part of the final act of the movie. Number 6. Originally Cynical Guy 
filmmaker Ryan Reynolds doesn't have a writing credit on Free Guy, but he was heavily involved in the development process and made some major changes to the script himself. Speaking with a Hollywood reporter, the original writer Matt Lieberman mentions that, along with choosing most of the soundtrack, Reynolds made a massive change to the character of Guy. In the original screenplay, he was cynical in the beginning, but in the movie, being hopelessly optimistic is the core of Guy's character. Number 7. CGI Skill with Real Humans Unlike some of the other video game-themed films, Ready Player One, which utilized computer-generated imagery to depict the player's avatars, Free Guy has real humans in the roles of free city dwellers. Sean Levy was inspired by Fortnite for the characters, especially Uthkarsh and Budkarsh Mouser's in-game bunny costume, rather than Grand Theft Auto. According to Lavi, this move will contribute to the overall fiction of the movie. Number 8. Joe Keery's Nervousness in Shooting Scene Along with Ryan Reynolds, one of the most bankable stars in Hollywood, and jack-of-all-trades Taika Waititi, another starring role is played by Joe Keery. Keery plays Keys, a genius video game developer, and he gives a compelling performance, but the actor claims he was nervous while shooting. Being a fan of all of his co-stars' work, Kiri felt anxious acting alongside them. It makes sense, as even though he is famous for a starring role in Stranger Things, his resume isn't quite as long or as impressive as his co-stars. Number 9. Reynolds has chosen the soundtrack Free Guy is typically witty and exactly what is expected of a Ryan Reynolds movie, as the actor brings his trademark humor. But he does so in more ways than one. According to Lavi, the actor chose most of the soundtrack, which is unsurprising as many of the songs are hilariously melodramatic. One of the key songs, Fantasy by Mariah Carey, was written into the screenplay by Reynolds when he was just listening to it at home. When Lavi asked why that specific song, Reynolds responded with, It just feels so good. Number 10. Chris Evans is the biggest hero. Free Guy is a whole well of Easter eggs, as not only is it full of references to Grand Theft Auto and many other video games, but it also has references to other Disney-owned properties too, including Marvel. Of all the surprises in Free Guy, the Chris Evans cameo is easily the biggest. During the film's finale, as Guy is fighting to save his video game world, he takes on a beefed-up version of himself using one of Marvel's most iconic weapons, Captain America's shield. One of the best moments is a cameo from none other than Captain America himself, Chris Evans, as he isn't too pleased that somebody else is using Cap's shield. Apparently, Evans was shooting defending Jacob in the same town where the Free Guy production was taking place, and Ryan Reynolds simply sent Evans a text, asking him to be involved. He was in Boston and it texted him, Reynolds asked, and being the complete gentleman and stud that he is, he just got in his car, came down, and we had him in and out in under seven minutes. As busy as the movie star was, he agreed to do it as long as he was in and out in ten minutes. A free guy is unquestionably a crazy ride. It's obvious how committed the cast and crew were in producing the entertaining film, from extraordinary appearances to outlandish personalities. It was a massive hit, and of course, it did not become so successful without some development changes as well as Ryan Reynolds' helping hand with a screenplay. Now, this is why the film has attracted so many fans. So, what was your favorite moment from The Free Guy? Let us know your thoughts and these behind-the-scenes secrets from The Free Guy in the comment section down below. We hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell down below for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.